how vital do you think the little sort of documentary moments are in the show to the framing of things? I mean, have you ever thought about dropping that format, or do you think no. that's crucial? Crucial. Yeah. Uh, it's, so. It just does so many things. It allows us to jump through the exposition mm -hmm. and not work it in in a clunky way of, Bob, as my ex-wife's cousin, you are a fine person. We can put in whatever information we need right up top. It gets you inside characters' heads. It provides wonderful pacing. If you have to cut through a slow section of a scene that didn't quite work, you can always pop an interview in. It's just, it's a wonderful device. They're all so good at it. Mm -hmm. That's where a lot of, a, a lot of improv does happen, <laughs> especially, uh, and there, I know, I, we wouldn't dream of mm -hmm. dropping it. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Are those harder at all for you to, as actors to, to, to switch and look at the camera and talk in character like that? Is, was like that, was that like an them. adjustment? It's fun. You like I think so. Uh, we, I don't know if we speak for everybody, but I feel the same way about not having to put that exposition into yeah. the dialogue. It's, it's such a relief to be able to just come out and say it and know we don't have to try to cram it in and make it seem real. And also you get to inform, I love also that you're, you mm -hmm. always get to, to inform the psychology of the character about how you feel about this person or how you feel about that. So you don't, you've already jumped right there, for the, I think for the audience at least. The audience gets to go right there and know your deepest yeah. feelings about the person you're talking to. Without I mean, look at the, in tonight's episode, uh, when, she, when Claire was thanking everybody about working for her and you got to very quickly you know, yeah, yeah. hear what everybody was thinking. And uh, that, you know, yeah. little moments like that you know, really help a scene. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How do you, I mean, it's such a fine line when you deal with episodes, um, uh, the, the Leap Day episode that had a theme about <laughs> menstruation. <laughs> episode that dealt where Phil learned that Haley was no longer his uns unspoiled flower. Um, it's such a delicate touch. How do you, how do you tread that line between syrupy and, and just, you know, the kind, of, the kind of thing that every parent at home watching is just laughing and choked up all at the same time? I know I am. Um, it's a strange... Uh, by the way, that's a strange term, the unspoiled flower. It implies that you're spoiled. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, listen, it, you know, we, we have kids, and uh, not that that story came from my life. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, and we just look, you know, we sit around, we, <coughs> writers, despite being insane and, and filthy and all those other things, are very deep thinking, caring people. And they, and, and they and we sit around and talk for hours about those moments and how do we get, you know, the, how do we do a story about this without hitting the cliched moment and how do we find a different way to attack that emotional scene? Um, you know, how do we tell a story uh, about a daughter losing her virginity and its effects on a father in a way where they're not having to, where it's not making everybody wildly uncomfortable. Um, you know, and that, that the, the, the doll hospital metaphor was, you know, really, uh, and I tell you the truth, I wasn't part of the breaking of that, of that. so I, I, I should say I thought it was, that was a really, you know, brilliant um, uh, uh, way, way to go about it. Who's, who's, who, who among the writer staff sort of had that notion <coughs> to, to use that format kind of? I don't, you don't remember. I, don't rem I honestly don't remember, because what happens is Chris Lloyd and I alternate weeks on set. And, and so when one of us is on set, the other one is breaking stories, and it goes back and forth, and that's how we keep things moving. So, um, so I don't know exactly, mm -hmm. you know, this, the, that, that subject, the subject of, boy, what happens when the father uh, uh, learns this has been something we've been talking about for a while, and it took that little, it took that little, uh, you know, insight to, oh, it's a, you know, we'll use it as this doll hospital and a broken doll. Um, uh, you know, that's a, that's a beautiful metaphor. That's a nice way to attack this show. So, um, uh, I don't know. I, it's a lot of pressure uh, watching a show like that and realizing I'm never going to be that good of a parent. 
<laughs> I'm basically just gonna show, when, when my daughter loses her virginity, I'm just gonna show her the episode and just go. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't I great? Aren't I great? I mean, we all learned a lot, didn't we? Okay. <laughs>